We have a Whirlpool dishwasher, model hashtag WDT750 says zero. It is leaking out the side of the dishwasher on both sides on the bottom. I just replaced the inside door seal, reinstalled the dishwasher, and it is still leaking. How old is your Whirlpool dishwasher? Where does the leak seem to be coming from? It's only two years old. How long has this been going on with your Whirlpool dishwasher? What have you tried so far? The leak is coming from the side of the door, close to the bottom. Anything else we should know to help you best? No. I'm trying to figure out what might be causing the lead leak. Hello, this is Dave and I welcome you to Just Answer. I'm reviewing your question now, and will post back with your reply ASAP. Note, if you get a request for a phone call it is an automatic request and can be ignored. Please wait for my reply. Leaks can have many causes and can be difficult to find. I have a few questions that should help narrow the cause. Is the leaking constant or does it seem to shoot out one side and then the other repeated? It seems to happen more on the right side than the left side and it happens later in the washing cycle. Is it a steady drip or a repeated spurt? Do you still need help? Answering these questions helps determine the problem. Not at the moment. I ordered a lower door seal and we are going to try that. Okay, that seal normally doesn't address water leaks unless caused by oversudsing. If the water shots out and spurts it is something else. I replaced the door seal and that did not take care of it. Then we tighten the screws on the inside of the door and it still leaks. Seems to happen during the rinse cycle, but now it's from the bottom of the door instead of the sides. Does the leak happen on one side and then right away on the other? What I'm trying to determine is if it seems to occur as the spray arm points toward the door. There may be a split in the plastic spray arm. Hard to see sometimes as it opens when water pressure hits it. It was only happening on the right side, and then it started on the left as well. From what I can tell the water comes out of both sides at the same time. But that was less the last time we tried to run the dishwasher, which was after tightening the door screws. Then most of the water came out of the bottom. I would remove the lower spray arm and look for splits where the arm is put together. I just did that before your last message and I can't see any cracks or splits. The fishy is only two and a half years old. So this is frustrating for us. Service have a clear door to put in place available so they can watch and see exactly what is happening inside. No all of them have them but that is the best way to know what is causing this when nothing is obvious. Does it leak on every load? It leaks on every load. Could be there is a crack or split somewhere allowing water to move sideways instead of pointing up to the dishes. The other thing to watch is too much water. It should reach the bottom of the float on the right front corner but not completely lift it up. How can I check to see if that is the problem? The float moves freely and is not stuck. To check for fill you need to stop and open the door when it is leaking ANC confirm the float is not lifted up. It is an overfill protector. Normally the time fill only reaches the bottom of the float but does not lift it. If lifted it is overfilled. Should I try to run the dishwasher again? 
If there is an overfill issue, how is that addressed? You need to confirm it drains completely and then if that is okay it could be a valve problem although that is not common. If I stop the cycle when the water starts to come out and open the door, should the water immediately start draining out? No. When you close the door and start it resumes where it was washing. Opening the door is just to check the water level. Okay. So if I open the door when the leak happens and close it back up. Should I cancel the cycle to ensure that it will drain out properly? If there was a draining problem you would see water left in the bottom at the end of cycle. Okay. I'm running the dishwasher now. I'll message back when I see a leak. Okay. It just started leaking a slight bit out the right side. The float it down. Where the water seems to be is on the batting just underneath. Closest to the front on the right side. Okay so not overfilling. All points to a split or crack as long as the dishwasher is not tilted front. You can tell this looking at the water level when filled. How can I tell that? Some of the water has drained out and there isn't any left in the front of the dishwasher. Sounds okay. May not be able to confirm without a clear door but something like a split somewhere may be the problem. A split on the spray arm. Should we check for the dishwasher to be level front to back and side to side? Yes or in the top of the pump. You can see the level front to back etc. When the water is in the tub. We are starting it back up right now to refill the tub. Should we use a level? Or just by eyesight? You can use a level but looking at the water in the tub is just as good. Okay. What do we need to look for? If the water is deeper in the front it is tilted too far front etc. Okay. Should we wait until the leak happens again? To check the water level? Anytime the DW is washing you can check water level. Okay. Water was a bit foamy on the top. No soap was used in the cycle. It appears that more water was closer to the right side where the float is than the left side. Front to back appears to be level. We are draining it now to see if there is any water still in the tub. But we did stop at mid-cycle, so there wasn't a ton of water in the tub. If it was leaking on both sides the right to left level may not help. This time was leaking only on the right side. And the water was pooled more to the right side near the float. But the float was not raised. Okay, try to level and try again. A little tilt back won't hurt either. Okay. We will try that. Thanks. Smile. Just ran the one hour cycle. Stop just now and the float is up. Is it possible when you stop the dishwasher that not all the water was drained? I opened the door to check BC now there is water coming out of both sides. I was going to attempt to raise the feet in the front. Okay. So the leftover water plus the new time fill can lift the float but all should drain on the next regular drain cycle. Okay finishing the cycle now. 
and I'll see if all the water drains out. One hour cycle just finished and all the water has drained out with no issues and the float is down completely. There was water that leaked out of both sides of the door, not a ton, but still from both sides. More on the right than the left. I have not tried to raise up the leveler legs yet, as I wanted to see how it would be at the end of this cycle. Okay. After leveled if still leaking let me know. I'm still thinking something split can be the issue. Okay. I'll try that and let you know thank you. I raised up the front levelers and ran the unit on a regular cycle. Still leaking out both sides, right more than left, but not nearly as much as before. Suggestions All the water has properly drained out of the tub as well. If you can't find any splits it may take a clear door to watch for the problem. If it was over sudsing it would be foam pushing out under the door so I think you will need to call for service and ask if they have a clear door. Okay. We will do that. Both my husband and I looked at the spray arm and cannot see any splits or cracks in it. Plus this unit is just over two years old. So this is definitely frustrating. Yes, I understand. Best wishes to you. Thank you. My pleasure. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.